Good evening time, everybody. Hope you're all doing all right out there this evening. Please take time to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're not already. I would like to invite you to join us on YouTube channel members, Patreon channel members, discounts, perks, giveaways. Check out our merch store. Check us out at donkeystomper.com. All right, guys, we've got an eight pill repair. Before I even start, I want to make this very clear. This is not about the builder that built this. I'm not showing a name, but this bit, you know, the things I'm going to point out. I'm not pointing fingers or nothing like that because the uh, box has had a hand in it before. The seal was broke. So that means it's been altered maybe a little or something. So just want to let you guys know that. All right. I changed this transistor and this resistor, this resistor, this resistor, and this resistor. Okay? That was the main problem with it, but the input tune was awful. And what happened... I don't show this. It's something I wouldn't normally talk about much, but what happened was is the uh, there's another key circuit up here for the bison, okay? And that keys in, tells 12 volts to come up here to the resistors and makes all 0.3 volts, yada, yada, yada. All right. They had this wire right here all the way on the PL connector, not on the other side of the capacitor. And they had it run up here to another capacitor. What they did is they made an open antenna from here to here. There was nothing blocking it from being on your radio. Just a piece of wire right here, just floating around, you know? And the capacitor was right here. So what I did is I took the capacitor off, connected the wire direct, and I put the other key wire on this side of the capacitor. That way it's blocked from the input of the radio. The way it was, it had a piece of wire. More or less, it'd be just like if you took in a took a piece of wire that's six inches and put it on your coax connector on your radio, that wouldn't be cool, you know what I'm saying? And that's what was going on here. I don't know if it come that way, if it been changed that way or what, don't care. But I just, I fixed it. So for those, if it, if it was built that way, you can see what I did. Because you can't just leave a piece of wire hanging on a PL connector and going flopping around in there, okay? That's, that's where the input problem was, the SWR Sky High on the radio. All right. So we got that all fixed up. I want to touch base on something else. I recommend an 8-pill, 200 watts carrier out max. Uh, I have noticed that a lot of builders is recommending a lot higher than that, and that's their prerogative. If it works for them, more power to them. I'm, I'm glad it works for you, and uh, and, and and good to hear that. This this one right here, we recommended that key was 500. No, 200, 25 watts per transistor. I seen a builder the other day, not this builder, another builder, telling everybody that HGs would key 100 watts per transistor. They must be, they must be running them some way I don't know how, because I can get everybody's boxes, it don't matter who it is. If I key this box at 500 watts, a transistor, 500 watts, and try to talk on it, and shoot skip, I guarantee you I'll blow a pill within 10, 15 minutes. If I key it a thousand, two or three key downs, I'll blow a pill. Now, you can do that on the dummy load all day. You can do that crazy stuff on the dummy load and get by because it's a perfect scenario. But on the antenna, I don't know, maybe maybe it's my antenna tuning, I don't know. But 200 watts, 25 watts per transistor is max. And that's what I'm gonna stick with. That's what I'm always gonna tell you. And I know 100 won't work. But, I mean, I don't want to degrade nobody or start nothing. If it works for them, great. It don't work for me, okay? Let me rephrase that. It might work for them. 500 of this might work for this builder. But it won't work for me. Now, if I get on 20 inch, you skip. And a 1,000 watt, 800 watts, sure won't work for me. So, so I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I think works. 25 watts per transistor. That's 200 watts out of an 8-pill carrier. Works great for me. If I had an 8-pill, i try to keep it 400. It won't last a night, brand new one, without blowing a pill. So, like my 16 pill, if I tried to kill that thing 1600, man, I guarantee you we could turn it on and do that. Kid a 1600, within about 15, 20 minutes, we'd blow a pill in it. So, guys, I'm telling you what works for me. If they can get by with killing this at 500, or they can get by with 100 watts of transistor, that's fine. If that works for them, that's fine. But it won't work here, and it don't work here even if I get one of their boxes. So, there's been a couple times I don't call them names. I started to tell different builders if you'll uh, build me a box 
a 16 pill that I can keep at 1600 or 32 pill I can keep at 3200 I'll buy one from you if you'll guarantee I can shoot skip on it for an hour every day for six months on 28. But they can't because they won't because it won't work. Done tried it. Been there. Got a t-shirt. And on sideband, if anything, you turn your RF power down more. HGs are not, they don't really like sideband. And I don't know if you ever watch the average, what happens, like, let's just say this box is doing 800 average. You kick it on sideband with a hot radio. And I don't even have a sideband driver to drive straight eight. Kick it on sideband with a hot radio and a driver. The thing will be trying to do 2000 average right at the same settings with 200 watt carrier. So... If anything, when you go sideband, you turn your RF power down as low as you possibly can, or don't even drive it. Just use radio drive to drive it. All righty, guys. She's all fixed up. I hope that's informative. Maybe help somebody. Like I said, this box is not about the builder. This box had the seal broke on it. So, and uh, these other guys, they may get by with their day key ratings. If they do, they do. But they don't work here for me. All right. Start out straight through SWR. Hello, one, two, three, one, two, three, bum, bum, bum. I'm going to turn on the... Let's see what we got here. Hello, one, two, three, one, two, three. No, straight through SWR. There's something else I want to touch base on real quick before we do this. Um, it's just, again, it's just everybody's bench is different. Everybody's radio is different. Everything. But I've seen some numbers like out there that they don't do here either so and they do more on my dummy load than they will on the antenna so on a real life scenario so that just being said i don't know different meters different coaxial links different swrs different volts feeding them all that stuff may be where they're getting their pep but when them same boxes come here like i've seen eight pills doing 22 2500 and i've seen them come right in here brand new condition do 15 to 1600 so I just want to throw it out there. I've even seen eight pills coming here. Brand new was doing 1400 and 1300 peak. Really, I've seen brand new eight pills being built coming here. I mean, a bunch of them. And not even by this builder doing 13 and 1400 peak. So, so I'm saying they show them doing 2000, 2500, and they show them doing 1200 bird and all that. They don't do it here again. Maybe all my stuff's junk, but it don't happen here. All right. You put SWR. Hello, worldwide, worldwide. Get on down, none. I'll put PEP radio drive. That's a good driven radio drive numbers. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Getting on down. Looking good. I right, we're gonna go up here and just for curiosity, they said 250 is what the recommended swing on this amp is. Hello. Oh, let me get it up to 250 and stop. Hello, 255. That's close enough. All right. We're back a little bit. So 250 is max. One, two, one, two. With the max recommended swing, not by me, but from the builder. Hello, worldwide, 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 we're at 14.6. Worldwide, 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 worldwide. On the bird, five volt reverse. Hello, worldwide, worldwide, worldwide. Listen, what back? 2500 watt PP. Hello, worldwide, 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 worldwide. About 14, 1500 bird. Peak, I mean, on the bird. I'm gonna go up here and cram some watts into it. Now we're gonna put 340 into it. Hello, we're away, we're away, we're away, we're away, we're away, we're away. Get on down, get on down. 2500 PP. Hello, we're away, we're away, we're away. Get on down, get on down. I didn't retune this box or nothing. It's got a good input and output reflex. I just fixed it. Hello, worldwide, 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 worldwide. Get on down. So there you see it. That's on my meters and my system. I mean, it is what it is. All right. We're going to go over here and look at our uh, outdoor dummy load. Now, this meter, see, this can be taking place at different places, too. This meter is usually looser than this meter. Start out looking at uh, don't look at our uh, radio drive. Radio drive, radio drive. It may not be today. Radio drive, radio drive. We're going to drive it with about 300 feet. Driver, 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 driver. Sometimes I seem to be looser, sometimes I seem to be tighter on the outdoor W load. Driver, driver, driver. 
So, and I've actually got the carrier really high on it right now. Back that down. I'll come up 200 watts. I'm not even watching that meter. I'm looking at my bird over here. Two hundred watt key driver, driver, driver. So two hundred watt key with three hundred and forty something drive on the bird worldwide, worldwide. Still want to slow worldwide, worldwide. We're we'll not doing dummy low. We'll go over here and knock it up to key. Five hundred watt carrier or four hundred, I guess. Hello, driver, driver, driver. So, there it is, guys. It's all up and ready to go. I just want to show you all that and take you through a tour through it. Maybe share some information, but she's all fixed. I mean, she's good to go. It ain't no resistors getting hot. She's all good to go. But there you go, guys. Eight pill, sideband bias, repair, custom. Now, a little information for my two cents. My redneck information. What is it like Vice Grip Garage says on his things? I watch it all the time. Don't do what I do or whatever, you know. If you do what I do, you're stupid or something, he says. But that's my two cents, guys. 200 watts out of an eight pill is where it ought to be. I let it swing. So I just want to show you this, guys, and uh, kind of explain a few things. And she's all fixed up. Take back down. One more time for the merchandise. Bah, bah, bah. Oh. Let me go back on my dummy load one time. Now, I'll tell you something that does help if you throw some bolts to it. Let me show you that. I'm still putting out way too much drive. There's my drive. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I just want to give it the benefit of the doubt. One, two, one, two. All right. That's 14 point eight. Let's do something crazy. Let's go to a meter beater. We're going to come on up to about 15.8. That'll make it go. Hello, oh, get on down, 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 worldwide. So, there she is, guys. She ain't even got no fan on her, say, so you know she's right. All right, guys. I appreciate y'all watching. I hope this video maybe did two in one stone with a little information and repair video. Hope everybody has a good one out there. Please take time to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're not already. We'd like to invite you to join us YouTube channel members, Patreon channel members, discounts, giveaways, perks. Check out our merch store. Check us out at donkeystomper.com. It's donkeystomper.com. Bye-bye.